Hey, so we were trying to get Dougie to to pick a, a random comment for a little competition we were running last week for some beanies. We're gonna get a 60 second timer and it's just gonna scroll all the comments and then Flip's gonna pick a random one. It's stupidly overcomplicate. And then we're gonna get YouTube random comment generator to fucking do the same thing. Let's just appreciate the the 13B is an exceptional space to put a laptop on. All right, everything's loaded. Then do you want me just to pick one? Or yeah, just you're just gonna to pick one. one. And just have your finger pointing at the screen. All right. Point at the screen. We're at 38 seconds. Can't look at the screen. You mean pick one then, Don't look, it? it is, because it's, you're not allowed pick on preference. You just have to pick a random comment. Eight, nine. All right, stop. stop. They wrote, yes, I won, as the comment. That's Whoa, what you picked. That's great. <laughs> Oscar Haas wrote, actually, yes, I won. And he did win. And he did win. Well, and now we're just going to get the YouTube random comment generated. Let's just enjoy the socks first. Right, well, there's a weird <laughs> ad for socks. The winner of the random YouTube comment selector is JDM underscore dude. JDM underscore dude, you win from the YouTube random comment selector. Oscar Haas has won the other one. And he already knew he was going to win because it just says, yes, I won. Yeah. Hats and stickers. Well yeah. Done. Hope you enjoyed our absolutely crap little competition <laughs> that we overcomplicated and then put a fucking laptop on a 13B just to pick this shit out. The shop is still open. There's a bunch of stuff up there, so grab it while you can because I don't think we're going to do a run of a lot of that stuff again. Everyone else that's ordered stuff, we've been appreciating all your comments and we're sending everything out this week. Thanks to everybody. Flash up the tank. Thanks. Thank you. To everybody that has bought stuff off us, I seriously appreciate reading your comments and seeing all the places we're sending stuff all around the world. Right, let's have a look at some updates on Flip's RX-7 because he's simultaneously putting this back together while I'm building my car. So yeah, the last footage was hacking these to bits. So there you go. Some nice factory looking tubs. This comes Ooh. off for easy access. Plenty of space for lock. So what was on here before was just like a smashed inner wheel well and it was beaten to shit. This is what came out, so it would have been in there like, like that. Yeah. But this will eventually go. Yeah, rot away to nothing. You've put in your rad yeah, and like intercooler setups, final place. What's that, an old trust intercooler? Yeah, she's old school. The bumper arrives, this will pull this out. Yes. And this will stay in here, so I'll get to have a little bit more of a, this kit was on it, so there was an R Magic kit on it when he got it, but this car originally had a BN kit on it, which definitely is the best. So it had like a vent, if you've seen it, it kind of dropped down because it was like heated when it was drying or something. So this is off a non-turbo. Yeah. Yeah. There's actually a passenger seat and that red East Bear seat which we got a couple of weeks ago. Flip had a bit of a conundrum, trying to figure out how to put some Sun visors in, if you run a cage, you kind of lose the sun visors. Fucking splice out. Yeah, so he's chopped out a bit of the sun visor, so it'll actually brush past the cage. Yeah, so that way then you can actually run. This is literally the best thing I've done to this car. Yeah. So this is actually <laughs> the thing that he's proud of most. Just the fucking... Oh, oh shit, man. that's amazing. If, if, only only the, if only the car would run now. <laughs> the East Bear looks well in there. Crazy. Here's Aiden's track car. which is new graphics on it, which are fucking pretty cool. It's brightened my day. It's a random Never day sad, this deformed picture of my head. <laughs> <laughs> There's been nearly 16 weeks worth of welding, just on the car alone. You know, Barry works a full-time job, so he comes down on his Saturdays or Sundays. Sometimes he'll do a Saturday, Sunday, and a bank holiday Monday. This weekend, we cut in the kit that flows gaming. Thanks so much for these, man. These are absolutely incredible. We're just gonna tack in these smaller ones, too. We've done so much on this, I mean, We've replaced the roof, the B pillars, one of the C pillars, all of Barry's custom work in here, the floor, all these bits out here. I had no idea that I was gonna have to get this much stuff done. <laughs> so while the shell sits in limbo, I've been gathering all the bits for the engine. Dougie's gonna help me rebuild my engine, which has sat like this since we painted the block. But I have all the bits now of all the gaskets. Got the last few bits from Toyota. Gaskets and crank seal. What I'm doing tonight is I'm gonna clean all of my valves. So. One at a time, I'm gonna take these out. I've done one already, and just scrub it of all the carbon, clean the stem, just give it a sand, take off all the crap, 
and just freshen these up for the rebuild. So I'm not gonna film the whole process, I'll just show you what I'm gonna do. So Dave's nice enough to let me use his pillar drill and we're gonna lock in the valves and then just grind all this carbon deposit off. Get some sandpaper. Check Dougie's little wooden thing that he's made to organize the valve. Most of the carbon gone off it, it's back kind of shiny. Just get a little bit more off now, there's a little ridge there. So the carbon is actually quite hard on these. I've been grinding the shit out of it and you can still see some carbon deposit there. <laughs> the valves are clean. All 20. Now I'm going to clean the piston. Probably wearing gloves, shouldn't I? That's quite the difference. Regulation. Uh, let's Fifty three. Three minute delay. This is supposed to be the quick way around. So we're gonna be stuck in this for 53 minutes. Me and Adrian are going back up to Mr. X, as he wants to be called. We're going back up to buy more parts. I need uh, front coilovers, and I'm buying a red Bride Zeta 2. Uh, it's kind of a silly purchase, because I definitely need other stuff at the moment. But I'm just buying the C anyway, because it's in really good condition, and it just came in in this yellow car, which unfortunately has been broken, but what happens. Adrian's buying an exhaust and some other bits and bobs for the Karina. So we're just outside of Dublin stuck in fucking this shit and we have two hours to go. We're in Adrian's EK4. Check these cool badge from Japan. Yeah this is his standard. <laughs> she makes the good VTEC sound lad. We're bored fucking shitless in this traffic, so we're just doing little mini VTEC wheel spins. I don't know, whatever to amuse us. Look at that patrol. In the 100k zone. Zero. 100. Absolutely hilarious. Imagine just tearing around in that thing. It's an L. Look at this thing. Genuine cop car from Kent. <laughs> this is crazy. Police stop, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's weird that it has all the bits. I thought you'd have to pull all that shit off. My neighbor used to have a blue one years ago. I fucking loved it. Was the Cosworths obviously fit to it or did it ever come with a Cosworth package? No, it? no. It came two year old Pinto. And I need it. Ah, it's fucking lovely, isn't it? So they're such a weird, crazy fucking yo. Have like, you seen that in your area in Merrill? <laughs> yeah. I'd say you'd probably keep this new seat. These are now my coilovers. So much good shit here. box of what wheel nuts. Some of these are slightly packed. 
parished, okay? Not really essential, but some full set of Watanabe wheel nuts. Some horns. Last piece of the puzzle, 16 valve alternator bracket.